The moral decay of our society should be a cause for concern for all Namibians. What is going on with us today? If we have to judge ourselves by recent media reports, then we are truly doomed. Last week, we saw incredible scenes of Namibians cheering outside court after former Education Minister Katrina Hansa-Himara, found guilty of corruption, paid the $50,000 fine for her crime. Labour consultant and unionist Olsen Kahiriri shared his sentiments on what transpired that day. When the accused was found guilty, did not show remorse to the court, did not show remorse to the whole proceedings. Why am I saying that? Uh, the judge came up and said that uh, the accused went on television, on NBC, on NBC to be specific, and said these are small things. You are found guilty of corruptions, and you say these are small things. The judge made the point in his judge in, in his arguments, and the judge also went further and said that the accused went on the newspaper once found guilty, and said I have deep pockets to be able to cover the sins and deeds that I have done. So the judge went further and said. One case out of ten is one too many in an Namibian environment where everybody is crying about corruptions. When we read in the papers every day, the front page is having millions and millions of uh, taxpayers' money that are vanishing because of corruption. So it was a serious offense. When you look at the face of the accused when coming to court, the smile was deep. I could see the second tongue, the small tongue of the accused. Where, when the accused was found guilty, and this was a person who knows that I'm coming from the executive part. She's coming from the executive aspect, which is the, the, the executive organ, which is under the custodians of the president. And it's public knowledge. This is, everybody knows that this is a, a, a daughter of, of the president. This is the right hand man of the president. Uh, we can't doubt about that. So that's why this person was so confident. And then we have the legislature, which is where parliament is, where the laws are made. And then we have the judiciary aspect, where the accused is found guilty. Now the judicial part is where the laws that are made by the legislature should be interpreted and enforced. So when, when you see one organ being so powerful, this message came out clearly, to my understanding, in the court proceedings. Because when you look at the points that I was mentioning of where the judge was coming from, the judge did not marry what he said. And one important aspect of one on which he was relying was the aspect of the Likando case, where a police officer took a bribe of $500. He was found guilty of corruption. He was referring to that case because, to his understanding, it's a Locus Classicus case because it's, it's, it's first of its kind when it involves a police officer and he is found to have been bribed, which is a corruption act. But in this very same case, the accused was sentenced to four years in prison without an option of a fine. The untouchable creature, which we have created in this case, which is the Katrina who are corrupt. It's not me who have found a being corrupt, that the court has found her corrupt. So that's the phrase we should continue using. So this person is corrupt. Katrina is corrupt. But this Katrina creature is so special that sentencing or sending this person to jail 
is a big sin in Namibian society, which is a very wrong precedent. Where I'm coming back to where I started, which is the fact that the executive is too powerful. Do you want to tell me that if this creature was not a, a, a daughter of the president, a right-hand person of the president, could the sentencing be different? This person acted while he was corrupt in the uh, corrupt practices. That's what the court found, that she was politically motivated by her actions. This creature is coming from Swapo, the untouchable. For a society to be well-functioning, there must be checks and balances. Now, if one leg is so powerful, then we don't have the checks and balances. Then we send a message that let's all be corrupt. I think the best way for me and you to do is to apply for a government position and join the forces of being corrupt. That's the message that was sent out there.